Hey guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. So, the federal government, the presidency, is telling the former governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello, to submit himself to the EFCC because he can only run, but cannot hide. <laughs> like you all know, the man has been declared wanted for over 80 billion naira fraud and the man is on the run and that's why i tell you guys that this country is a very funny country and i agree with those people that say that this country is a comedy station in heaven because it is now the time to go after politicians and efcc are declaring wanted are they trying to tell us that they don't know the whereabouts of this man? Are the EFCC trying to tell us now that they don't know where Yaya Bello is? All right. So I'm going to be reading out the article for you guys, the presidency reaction. But before we continue, uh, I want to beg you all to please help me by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. The news here reads, presidency speaks as EFCC declares Yaya Bello wanted the presidency has reacted to the decision of the economic and financial crimes commission efcc to declare former kogi governor yaya bello wanted in a tweet on thursday bayo onanoga the special advisor to president bola ahmed tinibu on information and strategy advised bello to turn himself in to the authority yaya bello where will you run to it is better you submit yourself to the efcc and get a good lawyer he wrote politics nigeria earlier reported that the efcc issued a public notice seeking information on the whereabouts of the former kogi state governor according to a post on its official facebook page the anti-graft commission said yaya bello is wanted in connection with alleged economic and financial crimes among Mounting to 80.2 billion naira. Anybody with information to his whereabouts should report immediately to the commission or the nearest police station, the EFCC stated. Bello was whisked away from his Abuja home yesterday by his successor, Governor Osman Ododo, while EFCC operatives laid siege at his residence. In reaction, the EFCC warned that it is a criminal offense to obstruct officers of the commission from carrying out their lawful duties. Similarly, the Minister of Justice, Prince Latif Fagbeemi, urged Bello to submit himself to the EFCC or the federal government may involve the military. <laughs> all right, my people, and uh, that is it for you all. Very funny, right? Very, very funny. But I want to say that our politicians, they are very, very, very wicked people. Sometimes, sometimes, when I see the kind of dramas, the kind of things happening in this country my heart bleed i cry i cry sometimes silently inside sometimes i don't want to talk because if not for wickedness eh the kind of resources we have in this nation we have no business with poverty but a country that is supposed to be one of the greatest country in the world has become the headquarter of poverty because of wicked and heartless politicians just imagine that one person single-handedly, single-handedly pocketed 80 billion naira. Not 80 million. But by 80 million naira self, let's even talk about 80 million, is big enough to better a whole state. But this is a state that cannot even pay salary. Few months ago, people were protesting, government workers were protesting in that state. For what? Because the government refused to pay them salary. This same people, this same person is a man who is being, who is hiding now for 80 million fraud. And EFCC, they are telling Nigerians that they are declaring wanted. You know, when it has to do with ordinary man, you will see EFCC in action. Because EFCC cannot tell me that they don't know where or how to get Yaya Bello. That is a very fat lie. They know where they can get this man if they truly want to get him. Shebi, I just read for you guys now that it is someone that whisked him away from uh, his Abuja resident. You start with the person that took him away first. Not saying uh, it is a criminal offense to obstruct uh, officers. 
That's bullshit. If this not only Nigeria now we see abnormal things as normal. Sometimes we see this thing there. Eh, and you know the funny part is that they just do this thing. The whole world are looking at them and say, ah, what kind of country is this? And you wonder why people call this country a zoo. And you see, eh, this is also a very big lesson to others that power is transient. Is it not Yaya Bello that is running kitty kitty, running katakata? Yeah, yeah, Bello that is once untouchable. That was feeling that he's Alpha and Omega. This is him now. Yeah, yeah, Bello of all people. Let me take a, let me read some comments for you guys. Okay, look at what I was just saying. Someone here says, Chai, power indeed is transient. Be honest and humble while in power. Today you are the hunter. Tomorrow you are the hunted. How are the mighty falling? Finally falling. Is anybody in the house? The oracle has spoken. Exactly. How are the mighty finally for that's a big word. So for all of them in power today, thinking that it is the end of the world, someone should please talk to Minister Wiki because tomorrow is not guaranteed for him. And someone here says this man will pay for all the sufferings the APC is making us pass through. Okay, they must be scapegoat. Something we just do quietly without involving the public. Spend one week in detention and get good lawyer. You will be bailed. The rest is history. No, you prefer to Nollywood. <laughs> So now yeah, yeah, bello true to they run, so they run for arrest. Oh, this life get a CB. Oh. This life, eh? It just gets a CB. Another person here says, How much would they pay anyone with useful information to his location? I bet brother, I get the location. Another person here says, Why is he running? It is a pity. Power, power intoxicated Yaya Bello is now running and hiding. The man who thought power is forever. Exactly. Another person here says, someone that has collected his ministerial appointment later from the president waiting to be sworn in after Senate, Senate take a bow. This is unbelievable, my people. Another person here says nonsense. At the end, the EFCC will ask him to return two or three billion naira and free him. And that is it for you all, my people. Crazy things are happening in this country every day. Every day drama. From one drama to another. And one one funny thing about these things is that these people that they don't tip, they don't they know they tip small money. Oh. Every day we are hearing billion, billion, billion. The one they said they recover from better a a do. We we are yet to see or know what they are using it for. No 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 yeah yeah bello eighty billion. <laughs> this one is the one just the ones that that came into limelight too. We still have others. In fact, eh, many that are the president ally, nobody will touch them. Those ones, they are untouchable. It is tomorrow, after the APC government, then you will begin to hear the atrocities that those ones have committed. But it is well, oh, my people. It is well. All right, I'm going to let you all share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with all of that being said, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.